Chapter 13 Handsome Juan <clears throat> The castle ground snarled with a wave of magically magnified wind. The sky outside was a great black ceiling, which was full of blood. The only sounds drifting from Hagrid's hut were the disdainful er, shrieks of his own furniture. Magic. It was something that Harry Potter thought was very good. Leathery sheets of rain lashed at Harry's ghost. Harry's ghost as he walked across the grounds toward the castle. Ron was standing there and doing a kind a kind of frenzied tap dance. He saw Harry and immediately began to eat Hermione's family. Ron's sh- Ron's Ron shirt was just as bad as Ron himself. Josh, do you want to take the, the dialogue? If you two can't clump happily, I'm going to get aggressive. Confess the reasonable Hermione. What about Ron magic? <laughs> Offered Ron to Harry. Ron <laughs> Ron was a loud, slow and soft bird. Harry did not like to think about birds. Death eaters are on the top of the castle. Ron bleated, quivering. Ron was going to be spiders. He just was. He wasn't proud of that but it was going to be hard to not have spiders all over his body after all is said and done. Look! said Hermione. Obviously there's loads of Death Eaters in the castle. (laughs) Let's listen under the meetings. Um, I've lost my play. Oh, three complete friends zapped onto the landing outside the door to the castle roof. They almost legged it. But witches are not climbing. Ron looked at the doorknob and then looked at Hermione with searing pain. I think it's closed. He noticed. Locked. (laughs) Said Mr. Staircase. (laughs) The shabby shabby rogue ghost. They looked at the door, screaming about how closed it was, and asking it to be replaced with a small orb. The password was... (laughs) Beef women! Hermione cried. Harry, Ron, and Hermione quietly stood behind a circle of Death Eaters, who looked bad. I think it's okay if you like me. (laughs) Said one of the Death Eaters. Thank you very much. Replied the other. The first Death Eater confidently leaned forward to plant a kiss on his... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> to plant a kiss on his cheek. Oh, well done. Said the second... Said the second as his friends sat back again. All the de- all the other Death Eaters... <coughs> death Eaters clapped politely. Then they all took a few minutes to go over the plan to get rid of Harry's magic. Harry could tell that Voldemort was standing right behind him. He felt a great overreaction. Harry tore his eyes from his head and threw them into the forest. Voldemort raised his eyebrows at Harry, who could not see anything at the moment. Voldemort, you're a very bad and mean wizard. Harry savagely said. Hermione nodded encouragingly. The tall Death Eater was wearing a shirt that said, Hermione has forgotten how to dance. So Hermione dipped his face in mud. Ron threw a wand at Voldemort and everyone applauded. Ron smiled. Ron Ron reached for his wand slowly. Ron's the handsome one. Muttered Hermione as he reluctantly reached for his. They cast a spell or two and just a green light shot out of the Death Eater's heads. Ron flinched. Not so handsome now. Thought Harry as he dipped Hermione in, in hot sauce. The Death Eaters were dead now and Harry was hungrier than he had ever been. 
The great hall was filled with incredible moaning chandeliers and a large librarian who had decorated the sinks with books and masonry. Mountains of mice exploded, several long pumpkins fell out of McGonagall, Dumbledore's hair scooted next to Hermione as Dumbledore arrived at school. The peg of Hufflepuff pulsed pulse like a large bullfrog. Dumbledore smiled at it and placed his hand on its head. You are Hagrid now. We're the only people who matter. He's never going to get rid of us. Harry, Hermione and Ron said in chorus. <laughs> Sorry, all that. We're the only people who matter. He's never going to get rid of us. Harry, Hermione and Ron said in chorus. <coughs> the floor of the castle seemed like a large pile of magic. The Dursleys had never been to the castle and they were not about to come there in Harry Potter and the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash. Harry looked around and then fell down the spiral staircase for the rest of the summer. I'm Harry Potter. Harry began yelling. The Dark Arts better be worried. Oh boy. Unseen. Just uh, one of the chapters. Another chapter, chapter 13. 13. The yeah. handsome one. <laughs> Josh, how are you? All right. I'm, uh, I'm okay. I've uh, still been doing not anything. <laughs> so, like, it, it's, um, I'm, I'm good though. Like, it's just been. It's just been pretty dull, to be honest. The past uh, few days have been really... I haven't actually done a whole lot of, like, in tall. Like, I haven't played anything. I've just been kind of sitting about and finished off Community. Then I watched the... Um, I watched a Netflix show called... Um, oh, what's it called? I'm not okay with this. Join it. I'm not... I finished it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not okay with this, it's called. Which is basically, like... Um, the end of the world meets Stranger Things meets uh, Sex Education Black, Breakfast Club. No, oh. yeah, it was it was okay. It was only they're all twenty minutes each. The episodes and there were seven episodes, so I finished it. It's like two hours. You can finish it. Um, and then I watched Afterlife season two. Nice big depressing one with Ricky Gervais. Nice. Um, and yeah, that was all I really <coughs> watched in terms of things. I've just kind of been taking time to like been reading a wee bit oh. ironically enough Harry Potter um, from the start yeah yeah from the start so have you got all the books mm-hmm. got all the originals inside me god damn so, um, god damn honey and then I've been waiting for deliveries so oh, I've been same. waiting for um, I ordered photos I ordered 60 photos um, of like different parts of my life so like nights out with like you and stuff like there's a few of me and you a few of me oh. and Joel like a few group photos um, like all stuff so the idea is I've got like a big massive um, what am I talking about this last episode I can't remember no. I've got like a um, I've got like a big portrait not like a like a framed portrait of like McGregor like a it's mm. just a poster uh, but the plan is to take a poster out and then like fill it that whole poster with I mean, I'll try oh, and show you. That's nice. It's you probably can't see it at all, but it's up there. No, yeah, I can. Um, so I'm gonna fill that up with. Gonna try and fit all the photos in, but it's probably not gonna work. It's 58 oh, photos. That's so, nice. Yeah, something personal, you know, something. Uh, so, um, we went for those, and then I had a bit of a shopping spree the other night. 
just kind of like mm. a, late at night, I just was like, you know what? So I bought myself a hoodie, bought myself some jeans, bought myself two pairs of shoes. And then I was like, right, okay, so that'll be it for, for now. What about you your mum? got to. Oh, yeah. I mean, what else gonna do? It's because I got paid. I wasn't expecting to get paid as much as I did for not working anything. Mm, fair enough. I am, um, before we start recording, I spilt a whole pint of water on my oh, floor. No. So my floor's all wet. Oh. And that about sums up my quarantine. Yeah. That's what they say. Once your floor's wet, your days are ruined. Like. Mm. So. I, like um, you, am waiting for packages that I ordered yeah. literally like a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. I um, I feel you, man. Like, I literally ordered these so long ago. And the thing is, I know they've been sent out. So mm. I'm just like, where, where are That's they That's the thing. I fucking, I checked all my, because I, I bought stuff like through a few different websites. I went on and checked the various tracking things. Out of the five mm. things I've ordered, one has been shipped. Okay. The rest are still sitting in the fucking distribution center. Yeah. It's a pain in the hole, man, but it'll be, once isolation's over, they'll just turn up at your door. Mm. Like, um, See, I, was, um, I was saying in the group chat the other day it's been so long since I've ordered this stuff that I can't even remember what I ordered well, I know you got the hoodie and yeah. the poster yeah well, I got stuff from ASOS as well and mm. New Chic and True Vintage cool you got your shirt that was one of them you ordered a shirt yeah, um, I, I haven't gotten the shirt. Yeah. Um, I also ordered, uh, I ordered this about three weeks ago. Um, the other day, I seen my dad do a puzzle. And um, he was just, he was just bored, just sitting at the table. He was just He's got lost there. in a puzzle. He, he, yeah, he was there literally all day. The day he was doing it was the day that we all had Joel's like birthday gathering on the Zoom call. Um, so he was just sitting there from literally morning to night, like as in like one o'clock in the morning, just doing this puzzle. Um, so I Fair like play. said to him, "Huh? Fair play." Yeah. Commitment. So I I, uh, I said to him the next day, I was like, "Oh, did you enjoy that?" And he was like, "Yeah." He's like, "I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing another one, but I wouldn't want to do like a because the one he was doing was like a like a cat one, like a, it was like cartoon cats because oh. it was just like sitting about, like it was just sitting in the house." Yeah. Um. He was like, I'd rather do something a bit more fun. And I was like, well, what would you rather do? And he jokingly was like, oh, I'd rather, I'd rather have like a big picture of my face. Like I'd be jigsaw. So I took that literally and uh, ordered him a jigsaw <laughs> of his face. <laughs> so uh, He's that'll be, love it. Yeah, that'll be arriving on Thursday, apparently. So we'll see. <clears throat> um, yeah, it should be funny. You know what I'm wondering? Hmm. What the next phase of quarantine is going to be? Because I feel like at the minute we're coming to the end of the challenges slash banana bread phase. Uh, it'll be three more weeks. And then things might begin to ease. Uh, no, 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 no. You, you missed or misunderstand. We're coming to the end of the like challenges slash banana bread phase of um, quarantine. What do you think oh. will come next? I don't, I don't know what you're asking me. <laughs> what stupid shit are people going to do to distract themselves? Oh. I don't know, man. I feel like every, every, a lot of people have adapted. Um, I don't know. What, what maybe, else they've, you... maybe they've got the illusion that they've adapted. On what else one day. you do? You like... I know. Like I, I'm I'm out of ideas. Like I am I am out of ideas. Like I don't know. Got to the point where I'm like, fuck it. I'm just gonna bake something. Don't know what. I'm just gonna bake something. What have you been baking? Or have you, yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't, haven't baked yet. Oh, all right, okay. I'm thinking about making a fucking Victoria sponge cake. Mm, okay. Just because they're nice and good. See, cooking's not really my thing. Bacon, anyway. I don't mind oh, cooking. Oh, same. But, so, um, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know what I'm... I've been getting a little bit, like, frustrated. Um, I get, like, 
some waves of frustration. Uh, mm. That's the name of my album. Uh, I've, been, <laughs> I've been getting uh, some waves of frustration. I got that uh, two days ago. I got it two days in a row, and it sucked so much. I was just sitting there, like getting so annoyed because I couldn't do anything. Mm. So, like, I just came like a big, like, depresso, like, just sitting there. Like, I was just like sitting in my room, just like, I don't know what to do. Like, I was just yeah. staring at the wall. Like, I do not know what I want to do. Uh, it was um, the same yesterday. Like, I finished the um, the practical part of my dissertation. Oh, yeah, that's um, right. Well, at least you have that to keep you going, even though you would rather not be doing it. Like, I mean, on Monday, that. it'll be done all over. Yeah. Crazy. <sighs> I just remember to have another fucking essay to do. No, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Something to keep you going. Like that's what you need. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um. There is something I can't even remember what it was I was gonna do. I'm just gonna edit something. Oh yes, I know. What I'm gonna. Do. I'm gonna edit a video for a TikTok. Hey, I've um, seen you've been getting into your TikToks. Yeah, that's uh, my midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 it's happened. Uh, yeah, that's, four, four. See, we can watch the TikTok and sort of chart how much you've lost your mind progressively. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's the that's just, I, that's just something to keep me going. Do you want to give a plug to your TikTok to the fans? Yeah, if you want to follow me on TikTok, <laughs> it's uh, at Fart in the Wind. So, so yeah. how'd you come up with that name, Josh? I don't know. I was just sitting. Um, it came to I me made, in a I, dream. I made the, I made the account ages ago and just never had any content. I just just had it, mm. and then I just was like, I don't know what why what, why that was the name. But, and then it was literally the other day. I was like, I'm gonna make a TikTok. It's I've hit that point. I'm going to take, make a public TikTok. So, oh, like I, I'm just doing it for memes. Like, I'll, and I'll get bo- I'll get bored of it very quickly, and it'll not mm. be a thing anymore. But. Um, it's something to keep me going in the meantime. Anytime I have like any sort of idea, I'll be like, "Oh, I'll make this." So, mm. yeah. You know, uh, I somebody... find Go ahead. Wait, no, go... no, no. Actually, I'm not gonna say it. I'll say it after the podcast. <laughs> what, what were you gonna okay. say? <laughs> um, I found out something slightly weird yesterday. I looked in the mirror and I realized, "Fuck, I'm in better shape now." Than when I was working out. You know why? Why? Because uh, takeaways and stuff are closed. Um, like McDonald's. But I stuff. wasn't, like, whenever I was going to the gym, I wasn't getting takeaways. Oh, really? Like, I was being a healthy boy. I was making food and, like, fucking eating healthy. Damn. But now, like, I'm Ooh. at home and I'm eating more. And somehow I'm in better shape now. How do you know? I'm starting Just to see. Just the way you look. Yeah, I'm starting to see a six pack. In your fridge, or? Yeah. <laughs> I've um, I've been working. I've only started properly, sort of. Work, well, not properly. It's not really properly working. I've, I've started doing like a setup where it's now, uh, fifty pr- press ups throughout the day, and then uh, fifty sit ups, twenty five, mm. and then twenty five. So. See, I'm I'm class with sit ups. Like I could easily do like say three reps of uh or three sets of 20 sit-ups and then like one mm. set of 10 like bring me up to or no three three sets of 30 sit-ups and then one set of 10 bring me up to 100 but then whenever it comes to fucking like press-offs i like barely make it to 15 it, yeah it's difficult but um i've just been doing that just for the sake of doing something mm. so fair enough that's literally it that's all i've done I've been playing I a listen. lot more football recently as well. I listened to a bit of Coach Payne. You know who he is? Are you familiar nah. with Coach Payne? No. Nah. Um, Coach Payne is this guy on YouTube who essentially shouts motivation at you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> to music. Um, well, now I can screen share here, so maybe I could pull it up. Yeah, if you could pull but Will you hear the audio, though? Yeah, it's 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 so. just audio. There's no video. It's just audio. Okay. Like, um, yeah. If you can pull something up, I'm just gonna play it through my phone. Oh shit, boy! Look at my desktop. Oh. Hope I don't have anything 
Incriminating, abutting, nice. Oh no, that the bar at the top's in the way. Oh, there we go. Sneak peek to Reverie. Okay, why won't it? Why? Oh god, right. Yeah, that's really frustrating me looking at. Ta-da! Oh look, we're on documented bits. This is the kind. Yeah, what's his name? Coach Ben. You're not gonna hear it though. Yeah. No, just play a video. Like any of those, that's oh. them all. I can't hear anything. Can you not? No. I can. Yeah, of course you can, you had her. You're showing your screen, no, you're like... showing your sign. <sighs> and the, pe- the people see. aren't going to be able to hear it either. Let's see if I can do anything about that. Ah, oh, f- fuck it. Leave it, yeah. Um, Hopefully uh, they could hear. My mum's just texted me saying, here, you should download TikTok. That'll give you something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> One step just, ahead, always. It hurts sometimes when you feel alone. True. It hurts sometimes when you're in that dark place. You really you get me, coach. About you. The first thing you got but to then, so those are like the motivational ones, and then you've got the motivational yeah. ones that are like <laughs> you're sitting there. Miller, genuine draft. <laughs> Yeah, I listen to him, and um, mm. then I'll do my setups, my push-ups, and I've been listening to him for ages. He's just like, I think it's he worked, actually, actually get motivated. Yeah, uh, like it, I'm fair it actually like psychs you up. So, um, I, I think he's made it mainstream, though. I'm almost sure. I was playing UFC with Sam, um, and I'm almost sure I heard Coach Payne in the background of one of those tracks. I mean, like, that's definitely him. Yeah, so um, I think he, he probably is. He's probably been mainstream for ages. I just I found him when I started going to the gym, mm-hmm. um, just for like psych up stuff. So would you initially I'd like, well, like whenever you're in the gym, would you have him playing through your earphones? Only if I'm going on my lonesome. If I'm with like hard yeah. or something, then no. Ah, fair enough. So, but um. Yeah, just kind of get you going because, like, it's yeah, I don't know, it's just the way my head, way my head works. Mm, um, I just kind of get myself gassed up by listening to things like that. I mean, you're not alone because it is motivational, so I'm guessing <laughs> mm, many yeah. others use it for motivation. I mean, he's got 1.24 million subscribers, so by the way, am I talking yeah. too loud? No. You sound fine to me. Cool. Am I talking too loud? No, you're grand. Cool. Because um, I felt like even during our like our Zoom calls, just with like the boys and girls, I feel like I'm like fucking shouting at my computer screen. No, you sound fine. Well, I've I've got you on a low volume as well, so it doesn't pick mm. up on this. Um, Fair enough. But you sound fine to me. Like I can hear you loud and clear. Um, Good. But it's, it's weird, like, I wonder how he started all that. He was like, I'm going to create a YouTube channel where I just gas people up and yell abuse and tell them that life's... I'm guessing, here. now this is just a theory, that, uh, like, he would go to the, the gym with his pals and there'd be music playing through his speakers and he'd be shouting at them, uh, motivating them, and then they turn around and say, 
will you fuck up and go do that to someone else? I and think then he was... goes, hold on, I could do this to everybody. He, he gives me military vibes. Mm. So that could be his, that could have been his original, his ordeal, you know, that one of those guys. So I don't know. It's just interesting. That is a apt analysis, Josh. Yeah, I st- I started off by um listening to like clips from like you know the t- the typical like motivational speech where it's like Rocky Balboa being like you guys been all since you remember it's a very mean nasty place and bitch you don't need it's all about how hard you hit so how hard you get it keep moving forward yeah that's how winning is done yeah I like I I listen to that and then there'd be like bits of like just scenes from films like i don't know i'm just mm. one of those weirdos that can get like psyched up by things to be like fair that. i used to do that well, why would you start i don't know i <laughs> can't remember you find you find the motivation within yourself mm. i i realized that i could just i had watched it so much that i could just play rocky in my head all the yeah. time oh well, that brings me to a story <laughs> um, go for it well, I mean, you, I, I put it in the chat the other day, but I want to talk about it um, because it, I find it relatable. Uh, oh, so I know what you're going to say. So there's this guy that uh, I'm just going to pull it up real quick. Um, essentially, there's this guy who's a big fan of Shrek and uh, aren't we all? <laughs> uh, Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Shrek's fantastic. Shrek is my motivation um for every life day in general. <laughs> every day i watch track um one and take not three and four three's okay four is atrocious uh but there was this post Didn't and I, there I was a four there's a four and i've only seen it once and it was horrendous um there's this post that this guy put up on i don't know what it was i'm not sure what what, what this site is but I related with it in uh, more ways than one. Uh, I'll just read it out to you. So there's this guy. The, uh, the, the headline is, I'm just going to watch Shrek in my head. And uh, Okay, so the guy, basically, this is by Trick the Kick. So shout out to you one time. Trick shout the out kick. to Trick the Kick. He says, uh, as a little kid, I was so damn obsessed with, Shre- with Shrek. You know, immediately I was pulled. <laughs> as 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 was I and as am I and uh, I mean the kind of obsessed where I'd watch it over and over again days in a row it was all I ever wanted to watch again speaks to me and then he says it got to the point where I had memorized it word for word and beat for beat this wasn't that somehow that I could uh, this wasn't somehow that I could watch it in my head uh, like perfectly timed no fast forwarding no skipping just the whole film and I was like, that's great. That's amazing because <laughs> I, I, I used to be able to quote it quite a bit. I've kind of lost my, my touch with it now, but God damn. I used to be able to quote it really well. You need to listen to some that, Shrek motivation. I fucking watch it, that shit again. Yeah, I'm going back into it. <laughs> so this, this was fine for car trips such uh, because my dad would be like, hey, do you want to do a call on break or something? And he'd be like, eh, nah, I'm just going to watch Shrek in my head. Um. Uh, occasionally my dad would ask me at what point in the movie was I at just to check up on me uh, you're probably thinking huh, that's weird but cool I guess wrong sort of <laughs> he says it got so bad that, the, uh, that I'd watch it in my head at night before I went to sleep my dad would literally check up on me at night notice me blankly staring at the ceiling and have to yell at me stop watching Shrek and go to sleep <laughs> that's it uh, yeah that spoke to me in more ways than one you know, it's weird as well, like, I don't know, maybe it's because you put it in the chat, but whenever I read that as well, I imagined you as a kid yeah. who was watching Shrek. Well, Sophie, Sophie asked me if I wrote it. <laughs> I, um, yeah, like, there was even a night out where you were in Liverpool, and we went to Joel's to watch the uh, Khabib and McGregor fight. Hard about um, it. I made an oopsie and got very drunk. <laughs> and uh, the only way they could... Part of the, one of my favourite videos of all time. <laughs> the only way they could chill me out 
uh, was by putting track on on Netflix. And I, apparently I said, I don't remember any of this, but apparently I sat down like a child on the floor, my legs got off and coded it and then fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Josh, I love it. Yeah, I don't remember it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't remember it. I just, the only thing I remember is the video. Mm. Oh, whenever I saw that video, I was so fucking happy. It's just the yeah. wee noise you made at the start of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just fell and managed to not spill your drink. Uh, I saved it. I saved it. I, I, have the, I still have the video on my phone. Same. Yeah. Oh dear, yeah. Oh my um, god. Um, mistakes. Ooga, I never, shaka, I never got ooga, to watch something. Ooga, ooga, shaka, ooga, 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 shaka, ooga, 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 shaka, ooga, ooga. Anything interesting that hap- happened to you this week? <sighs> um, I went to Loch Moss and played football yesterday. On your own, son? with your brother, with his son. My, uh, my dad and my brother were there as well. That's about it, really. I'll we'll put my film out this week as well. Oh, if yeah. Y'all, if y'all want to go watch uh, my film, Reverie, um, it's on Moon Productions on YouTube. It's doing okay so far. Yeah. Uh, have a look. Have a Thank little you. watch. It's actually good. I like it a lot. Can I let you in on a little secret? You don't like it? I don't like it. Really? Yeah. And you're going to say that for some reason? Why do you not mm, like it? This is great fucking uh, PR for the film, but yeah. I don't like it. It just moves too slow for me. And I, I like feel it. like it's I, I, not I, I don't really, connected not really, that well. Not really the story-wise. I just like the way it was shot and the effects and stuff. You, you mm, oh, yeah. Like vis- was... Visually, I like it, but yeah. the story, it's like doesn't really connect up for yeah. me. That's Jack's review of his own film. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we had our uh, our struggles, especially with one of our yeah, actors we're... fucking off before well, the filming was done. With COVID-19. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's that's a big factor. Like, I mean, mm, that, that's why she fucked off. Because mm. she was wrong. She had her, she had her right too. Yeah. I know. I'm not blaming her in any way, uh. but like, it's it did sort of like fuck us over a well, bit. You know what you should do? What? You should um do a video because I'd be interested in it. Uh, talking about what the original concept of the film was going to be and how the film was actually supposed to end. Oh, and it as like a little bonus thing. Fuck it, yeah. I like it. Just talk about it. I like it. So, yeah. Um. Well, everyone, well, by everyone else, I mean the boy, the rest of the boys in the group all seem to really like the film. Well, it, I think it worked out. I was, I was coming in with really low expectations because, because of everything that had happened. Yeah. And you were, you were posting constant updates about your production, like, mm. and how it was going. And I was like, oh, that sounds awful for you. Like. Mm. So I, I was expecting it to be an absolute shit show. Oh, uh, it was a struggle from start to but, finish. But it, not the fucking. But you suck don't get my... that. You don't get that. Um, you don't get that when you watch it. It that doesn't con- like it doesn't. Right. There's nothing. It just it doesn't come. It doesn't appear that there was any issues. Do you know what I mean? So, Shit, but that's what? that's because I don't know what the original concept was. Not to suck my own dick, but that's because I was there. If I. If I wasn't involved in that film, oh, it would have been a shit show. Because mm. I was the only cunt fucking organising anything. Motivated, you would say. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's bring it back to the... Every the, time you uh, went in the, the shoot, I like watched this Shrek. This, this whole podcast is, episode is centred around motivation. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you're listening to this right now and you're sitting in lockdown, you know... And you're just lying in your bed and you haven't laughed all day. Get out of bed, man. Or girl, get out of there. 
shower your body, clean it. Get up. And Josh, I'm just I want I want you to make a full motivational speech, but when I have the music ready. Okay. Now you need to understand again that I will not hear the music unless you play it through your yeah, phone. That's okay. All right, yeah. Okay. Um, um let's see if this one works. Yeah, okay. Oh wait, no, that's copyright. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna say it reminds me reminds me of a certain Irish band. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, let's try royalty free okay oh no it's only three minutes long that's all we need my man okay that's oh, good that's good go. that's oh. good just go 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 so when you find yourself down in the dumps and you're listening to this right now and you're you're stuck in isolation you can't go out you're feeling lost alone afraid just get out of bed. Get out of bed. Get shard. Clean your toes. Clean your nose. And get out there. And when I say get out there, I mean get out of that bathroom and back into your room and get shard. Again. Clean again. And then get changed. And when you're changed, just feel refreshed. Go down and make yourself some water. Have a glass of water. Have... How have a biscuit or two, maybe three. Make yourself a cup of tea if that's what you're feeling, maybe a cup of coffee. Pour yourself a nice beverage if you're over age. And just bask in in the glory of yourself. Because although we might be stuck here, we can be productive if we choose to be. And if you choose to be productive, I can promise you that your lifestyle will be more full, more energetic, more flavorsome in its own way. Because motivation is key to life. And life is key to you. And without life, we're nothing. And without motivation, there's no life. Thank you. And that's my motivation. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> You're probably welcome. I'm now motivated to do everything. Yeah. You motiv- motivated me to do everything. <laughs> I'm willing to talk. Like, I don't really have much, like, apart from the workout stuff, I don't really. I've still been going on walks. I've been doing about five mile walks. Mm. Um, I've been around. going on less walks and more playing football at the back garden. That's still something. Mm. I've um, reverted back to a ten year old boy. That that brings me back to what I was saying in the last episode is how I've reverted on myself by sitting in and playing games and mm. being like before I was eighteen. So. This is all just a big thing of making us revert back into our past self, you know. True death, sir. Um, how long have we been going for, anyway? 38 minutes. Oh, damn. Sure. Mm. We're going um, good, kid. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? This is this is my struggle with sitting in and doing nothing because I'm like, what do mm. I want to bring to the table when I come talking, this, talking about stuff? Um, um, well, we can talk I mean, about the latest fucking stupid thing that Donald Trump has said. Yeah. So, on he the last told people episode, to fucking, oh, go on, ahead. on the last episode, I told you that uh, that Trump told people to just try this new um, this this new treatment that will supposedly potentially cure COVID nineteen. And he didn't have any science. There was no scientific reason. There was absolutely zero proof. And his, his reason was just to try it. What have you got to lose? Uh, approximately a week later, he uh, he comes back and blesses us with uh, more news. Uh, oh, essentially, ma- many other things. <laughs> yeah. Um, why, if we try injecting ourselves with um, bleach, uh, mm-hmm. that might help this kill infection. the virus. Yeah, and disinfectant as they kill viruses within um, a minute minutes. 
So uh, companies like that all. Um, I um, believe Trump is thinking of germs. <laughs> Com- companies, <laughs> companies like that all and Flash have all come up and had to make like uh, announcements. And have had to come forward and be like, "Yeah, don't try this. Please uh, don't inject yourself yeah, with please. fucking disinfectants." Yeah, please, because because unfortunately, people are stupid enough to do it. And mm. uh, there was I did read the other day uh, in America there was a number of um, raised cases of people having to get rushed to the hospital as they had died and ingested bleach and disinfectant. So. Uh, yeah, America never really stops to amuse me along with Trump. So that goes yeah. out to all our American listeners. Yes, uh, but the thing is, I understand that most Americans agree with us. Yeah. So, like, oh, yeah, there I know was, that um, they're not all stupid. There's a video on Facebook the other day of um, oh no, I like think nurses, I nurses like standing in front of cars, stopping them to go to protest and shit, and it was like a Chinese. Or I don't even know if he was Chinese, like an Asian nurse standing in front of a car and this woman was screaming shit like, go back to your own country. No oh, damn. I sort of commented under, like saying, how fucking stupid. Like, at first I said how stupid Americans are and then like I backtracked and was like, I know not all Americans are stupid. Like, this is just a fucking minority of people. Like, it just fucking shows you. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> it just fucking shows you, like, uh, how Trump is making America look like a fucking joke to everywhere else in the world. Have you seen the protests? Oh, yes, I have. Yeah. Number one, who the, fuck, pro- who the fuck protests a fucking pandemic? Phenomenal, like because they don't believe the virus is real. And guess what? Absolutely superb. Trump is fucking like. Is he back in that? Is he? He's not only like okay with it; he's encouraging it. I don't know, man. I don't know. He's such a. He's just such a character in terms of he belongs <laughs> in a film or a TV show. Yeah. Like, he's such. I, I a, see some of the things in news and I'm like, there's no fucking way that's real. Yeah. Like, yeah. is like, this real the, life? The bleach, the bleach and disinfectant, I'm sitting in my dad's room and I was literally talking to him and then it came up on the background in the news mm. and I just stopped talking to him and I just was, I had to take a second to like digest <laughs> what I just heard mm. and I just looked back at the TV and I was like, oh my God, that's real. Like, <laughs> Like it was the bit the footage of him talking to the nurse. So mm. he says to the nurse, she's like, the nurse is beside being like, uh, I, mm, maybe that's not a good idea. And he's like, have, well, have you have you tried? Have you tried injecting bleach? Have you tried injecting dis- <laughs> disinfectant? Maybe we should try that. We should try that real soon. And she's like, not shaking her head and being like, like this guy, like this this dude, like. <laughs> Fucking go away, nuts. dude. It's just nuts. Like, and oh. the thing is, he's probably going to get another, you know, um, term of being. Mm. Like, he's probably going to go another four years. Because there's enough um, stupid people in the, that support the, the big states that, mm-hmm. like, sort of. Mr. Exhausted himself is a Trump supporter. <laughs> True. Like, so. We, I it's, mean, it's which would say, should say everything about Trump supporters, yeah. like. Yeah, they're all. You, you can usually tell when there's one. Mm. Well, by the way, we do have listeners from Michigan, and I've seen that there are some protests there. If you are from Michigan and you are listening to this, don't fucking go and protest, please. No. no. It is a real thing. Mm. The virus, for a start. Um, I mean, take notes from us here in Northern Ireland, not to suck our own dicks again, but man, we're doing fucking class with this virus shit. Yeah, like we're, our, we're, we're doing okay, but Ireland aren't doing so good. Well, I'm talking about Northern Ireland, kid. Yeah. But our projected numbers were like, what, 
Our numbers 15, were 15,000 and we, uh, now they've gone down to 1,500. Mm. So there you go. Which is quite a Fucking difference. Fucking social distancing works. You but then it's also, it's, it's great, but it's also like scary because they've said that because it's such a low number that we could we could just skyrocket so quickly if they like lifted things mm-hmm. off like, ten, yeah. like um if they um were easier on the restrictions things could mm. just like go to a scary number because so many people haven't been infected with it well um on the news either yesterday or the day before they were talking about sort of like when will restrictions be lifted in Northern Ireland, because we are mm-hmm. fuck, we are doing so well, and the, apparently there are talks about um like s- separate places in the UK coming out of lockdown earlier than others. Yeah, and then I the would, guy I in the imagine. news, the or the health, what's it called? Health secretary. Yeah, the health secretary for Northern Ireland was basically saying like it's high, highly unlikely that separate parts of the UK will come out of lockdown before others it's like we're all gonna come out of lockdown at the same time it, it, that would that would make sense if they are still going ahead with flights and things mm. because what's to stop someone flying and having it but if they're like if flights and stuff have all come to a halt which I don't think they actually have um but if they've all if they've all come to a halt then like if they're gonna stay like that then I would imagine There'd be no reason why we couldn't come out a little bit sooner. But it's even even when we do come out, it's still gonna feel very mm. Oh, it's still gonna be still gonna be it, shit. Yeah, it's not gonna be any like we'll still be able to like do stuff, but we're gonna have to like remain, you know, the two meters and whatnot. But mm. yeah, it's I don't know, we'll just see. Like I I don't know, I kinda my sort of predicted end date is like the twenty 23rd of June that's when I imagine them being like okay we're gonna mm-hmm. ease up on things I'm um, saying end of June start of July yeah 20, I would imagine I mean I've, I've I've already I'm already set that I'm gonna spend my birthday indoors um mm-hmm. but I'm, <clears> like maybe I won't maybe I'll get to go out but I mean I'm not gonna get to go to a bar and yeah get to go outside and go for another walk a 22nd year old <laughs> birthday walk, walk. Hopefully this shit's done by December and bars are open by then. I would say bars will open by December. Um, but you but don't, don't know. Don't, there could be I another fucking. Oh no! Uh, it could absolutely. It could abs- It could be up. It could be all the way through to twenty twenty one. It could. Mm. Um, but even when they do open, there probably will be some sort of a restrictment in terms of. There'll be less people allowed in. Yeah, but there'll be. You'll have to space them out. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't. That's what I mean. They'll be, they'll have like a lower maximum capacity. Yeah. And have all the tables and chairs and shit spread out. Yeah. Well, that's what they're saying with restaurants. That's most likely going to happen is tables will be not available because mm. they're going to have to space people out. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, I would love restaurants to be open by July, but they'll not be. They'll be the last. I'll be the mm. last thing to open. But the, like me and Mel, we will have our one year anniversary in a couple of months. So yeah. I was kind of, I kind of like to do something for that, but probably not going to be able to. Like restaurant wise, anyway. So mm. um, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's weird. Well, it's I mean, all- in a couple of months, you might be able to go to each other's houses or something yeah that's it that's what i'm thinking maybe at least i'll be able to do that like so and just yeah and takeaways are open so whatever because um they were saying as well that uh cafes might open soon so you just could even yeah. oh shit you could even go for an anniversary coffee yeah i don't know it's i don't know um but yeah i've got a nine after this i'm gonna read some more books and uh they call um, josh reading books i'm gonna read read some more potter and then um you maybe watch, fucking nerd maybe watch a, a movie 
Oh, I fucking started community again. Oh, brilliant. Jealous. Already jealous. I'm um, 16 episodes in. I started it two days ago. There's a lot of um, background to community, like with the actors and stuff. I don't know if you're familiar with. What do you with, mean um, background? Like there's a lot of drama with community. I don't know if you're familiar with any of it. The but, actors? Yeah. Oh, fuck. No, I didn't know. Um, Chevy Chase plays Pierce. Mm. Um, he, at the end of season three, he refused to turn up for the finale. Uh, so like, so he, he, he never liked the show. Um, mm. And Joel McHale talks on this. He, he, hated, he hated the writing. He thought the writing was shit. Um, he didn't like the long hours. Yeah. Like recording, uh, and he didn't like the people essentially. Like mm-hmm. he just, he just, like he didn't. So he didn't turn up for the finale, and then he, he came in for a few episodes of season four, and then you met me. Well, spoiler alert for community if you haven't watched it, like. Mm-hmm. But uh, Pierce dies. Uh, but the reason he dies right, is because is because he just stopped turning up. Mm-hmm. Um. So they killed him off. Like that's why he's not in like the last number of episodes. And then they're yeah. just like, yeah, he died because um, he just refused and he just left it. Mm. And he gave a lot of abuse to Dan. Um, oh, what do you call him? The guy he did Rick and Morty and stuff. Dan, he was a writer of that. Dan, Dan something. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. It might be that. And he left him a voicemail. Was... And the voicemails on the voicemails on YouTube public. He like, um... is his drunk voicemail. Mm, he does a lot of. Um sitcoms and that like he, i'm pretty sure he did the office as well on brooklyn 99 dan guru and i'm pretty Not sure he's on parks and rec as well um but yeah so that was a thing and then obviously Here, donald, donald it, Glover was peaceful His was take it you one. don't uh or you haven't listened to the office ladies podcast no well, there was an episode where uh, Ken Jong was on there, and Joel McHale was like in the back, and he sort of he came on for like two minutes, and basically like they were saying, uh, or like um, Jenna Fisher and Angela Kingsley or Kingsley uh, were saying to them like you should make like a sort of this sort of thing for community, so you go through like every episode. They, well, they, they they don't have that. They have a podcast together. Mm. Um, Joel McHale and Ken John, whatever. Ken John, is it? Ken, Kim John? Ken, Ken John? Ken Chong or something. Ken Chong. Um, they have a podcast that they just started a few weeks ago called The Darkest Timeline. Um, with those two. So, Fair enough. that's on there. Um, mm. I think it would be cool, though, if you got, like... like um, same sort of setup or same sort of format as the office cities where like they do an episode every week and then they go like in the behind the scenes and like like background stuff from yeah. each episode yeah because then you could see exactly when fucking um chevy chase started being complete cunt well yeah but yeah i mean joel talks about it a lot Fair enough. Brings it up. Uh, he actually, Joel actually played Chevy Chase in a Netflix movie. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, that was a thing. <coughs> uh, and he also, uh, Joel McHale also broke Chevy Chase's arm by punching him. Nice. Um, because Jeff, he constantly asked him, like they, they didn't like each other. <laughs> and um, he was constantly on set. He'd be like, oh, hit me then, hit me. And then Joel finally did hit him and then broke his collarbone. So, <laughs> so Big ups, yeah. Joel McHale. Yeah. Mad. I was watching I know you listen, sir, so shout out to you one time. I was watching 101 facts on community. How? And uh, there's a lot of cool behind the scenes stuff. Is it? Like uh, not behind the scenes, behind the like background. Mm. Background Easter eggs and things. Mm, I'll, I'll look like, you the office. Oh. Yeah. Well, Josh, we're at 54 minutes. I didn't quite quick to be fair. Mm. 
Um, I think we could wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, do plugs, if you want to follow me on, if you want to follow me on TikTok, you can you can follow me. It's a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> um, you can follow me at Fart in the Wind. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Real Josh E T. And then obviously my Twitter, which I actually did post something on the other day. Hey. Uh, that Josh Thomas. Um, <clears throat> If you want to follow Jack, you can follow him at the uh, the old beardo old on Instagram. Beardo. Oh, did you change it again? The old old be- old beardo at the underscore a u l d underscore Jack beardo. If you want to follow my film account or film slash photography account, you can follow at Moon Productions. So two zeros instead of O's and Moon. If you want to watch my new film, Reverie. You can go to youtube.com slash moon productions and it's fucking on there. Um, I believe that's everything. Uh, actually, no, it's not. Uh, if you want to follow documented bits on social media, um, <coughs> <coughs> we're documented bits on everything. Um, the platforms are on. Here we go Instagram. Twitter, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Castbox, Podbean, CF Network, YouTube, and we're also on Patreon. If you wanna fucking give us a few quid, few oh, squid. Mm. Is there anything on it? No, not yet. However, I could do that the breakdown of the film and put it on there. Oh yeah. So if you want to hear me talk shit about everyone in my production group, you can head over to our Patreon. And that about wraps it all up. Yes, sir. So, guys, another little uh, PSA. Is that what they call them? PA? PSA? PSA? Public service announcement? Yeah, a little bit of a PSA again. Just, you know, stay <laughs> safe. You know, stay indoors. Don't quite unless you have to. And um, this will all Wash be over your before ass. you know it. Wash your ass. And mm, please don't fucking protest. Good night. Good night, Breaking Bad. Good night, Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, See you later. Good night.